Hey, 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 it is Evelyn here and I am back with another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the number one way to increase your self care. And for those of you that are new to me, welcome. It's your girl, Evelyn, okay? Strategist for creative women, entrepreneurs, and influencers to help them enjoy their success without the stress. Yes, I do that through strategic self-care and through business strategy and systems. For those of you who have been rocking with me for a long, long time, okay? For the longest, longest of times, Welcome back, okay? I'm glad that you're still here. You know, we like family, you know what I'm saying? I feel like every time I do a video, it's like family reunion. And why is this squirrel on my neighbor's roof staring at me into the window? Like, I'm gonna need you to back back and give me 50 feet, sir, ma'am, thing. Okay, let's not get distracted. So I've been thinking about this, right? I think I t told you guys in one of my last videos that I've seen a lot of reflective posts from the previous year about how people have just felt worn out and tired and exhausted and felt like they were burning the candles on both ends and had a thousand and one things on their to-do list and were running a million miles a minute, running on empty, running on fumes, how just things were hitting them left and right, you know, last year. And I thought to myself, how can, what's the, what's one thing that I can say to help people get more self-care? Because you guys know, if you, if you've been with rocking me with me for any amount of time, then you know, in 2016, I was diagnosed with cancer and I asked my doctor, how could I go from years and years and years of healthy test results and things like that? And in one year go from completely normal and healthy to a cancer diagnosis. And she said to me, stress was the number one culprit and diet and exercise, which not managing your stress and not eating well and not exercising will definitely affect your well-being, which will affect your self-care. And so I thought to myself, but what was the culprit underneath that? Like, why was I having so much stress? Why was I not taking care of myself uh, and exercising and eating healthy? I can tell you exactly what it is. I wasn't taking the time. Now notice, I did not say making the time because you cannot make more time. For us, time is finite. I got 24 hours. That's what I got. That's what I got. That's what you got. That's what she got. That's what we got. We got 24 hours. Girl, that's all you got. Okay. If you have extra hours somewhere, listen, run me an invoice. I will send you a PayPal payment, something. Let me get some extra hours. But I'm telling you, I cannot make time. I cannot fabricate more time. What I can do is I can take time from something that's less important and assign that time to my self-care. And one of the things I always tell people all the time is if something is a priority for you, whether it's working out, whether it's eating healthy, whether it's resting, whether it's self-care, whether it's working on your business, whether it's a relationship you want to develop, whether it's reading your Bible, you know, prayer time, whatever you're trying to do, you're going to have to take time from something else and allocate it to what you say is important. I can tell what you think is important by what you spend your time on. Same thing with your money. Now, I'm not a financial strategist, but that is my mother. She is a certified financial planner and she says she can tell where people's priorities are just by looking at their bank account, okay? I can tell you what you care about by how you spend your time. It is the most valuable resource that you have. If you do not have a budget for your time, I'm wondering if you like your life. I, I'm just, did I say it? I said it, I'll say it again. If you don't have a budget for your time, I'm wondering if you really like your life. It's the most valuable asset that you have. It's kind of like I tell people about eating healthy. If you eat bad and you put trash in your body, I can tell how you feel about yourself by what you put in your body. Fight me, okay? It's the same thing. <laughs> Don't fight me. I'm not. I'm a nonviolent. I'm a nonviolent person. Okay, I've been known to snatch an edge or three or ten, but I'm in. But in essence, I'm spicy, but I'm nonviolent. Okay, I'm spicy, but I'm not violent. Okay. Anyway, the point is, do you have a budget for your time? And you're probably like Evelyn. I've never heard of a budget for my time. I know you haven't heard of a budget for your time, because if you had heard a budget for your time, you would have one. Er, er, 
edges snatched? Do you need coconut oil? Do you need castor oil? Okay. Do you need sweet almond oil? Do you need extra virgin olive oil, organic, you know, non-GMO for your edges? Did she snatch? Did she snatch the edge? I think she might have snatched the edge. Anyway, let me, I'm hyped for some reason. Anyway, let me say this. Having a strategic plan for your life is a budget for your time. Having a strategic plan for your day is a budget for your time. Having a strategic plan for your business is a budget for your time, okay? So if you are just going through life and you are just letting life happen to you, and you are not telling your life where to go, you are going to wonder where it went. I, don't, I feel like I need to say that in every video. Like you have to tell your life where to go or you're going to wonder where it went. It's the same thing with your money. All a budget is, is telling your money where to go so you'll wonder, so you won't wonder where it went. How many times have you swiped, 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 swiped and been like, I spent how much? Really? And I don't have anything to show for it. How many times have you gotten to the end of your day and been like, what did I get done today? How many times have you gotten to the end of your week and been like, what did I get done this week? Or the end of the month or the end of the year. And what I don't want to happen, God forbid, is that you get to the end of your life and be like, what exactly did I do with the time that I had? I didn't mean to go ocean floor deep, but I somebody had to. You don't want to get to the end of your life and be like, what exactly did I do? How did I help other people? What did I do for God? What did I do for the kingdom? What did I do for my family? What did I do for myself? What did I do for those less fortunate than me? What did I do? And I would tell you, if you are finding yourself more often than not, not really sure what you got accomplished in a day, not really sure what you did this week, not really sure what you accomplished this past month, last year, the last couple of years, and you do a vision board every year and it really doesn't come to fruition or, or a couple of things get done and you set goals or you set New, New Year's resolutions and it doesn't really happen, uh, you are on pace, sis, to get to the end of your life and wonder what you did with your time. And here's the thing, it's not about running at a breakneck pace. It's not about... It's not about being exhausted. It's about being effective. You guys know my mantra is you do not have to be exhausted to be effective, but you do have to be strategic. You do not have to be exhausted to be effective, but you do have to be strategic. End quote, Evelyn of the Evelyn Inc. Tweet it, okay? Share it, okay? Shout it out loud. Say it again for the people in the back, okay? So I said all that to say, is the number one way to have more self-care in your life is to take time, is to take time and allocate it to what you say you care about, which is yourself. Okay, and you have to have a strategic plan for that. So anyway, I know it was a little bit of an edge snatchery video today, okay? Let you know, make sure you, when you come, you have your satin scarf and your edges are laid down. This is how we do over here, but it's all in love. All videos are not, doesn't have this much snatcher root in it, this much snatchery. However, you know, I do it because I love you because you know, I want to see you win. You know, I want to see what that gift is that you have inside of you that like I probably need and have been looking for, but you over here not taking time to do what you're supposed to be doing. And so I can't none of us experience it. I'm not going, you know, I'm going to stop right there. Anyway, if you need support in pulling out that gift, making a strategic plan for your life, making a strategic plan for your business, I would love to support you in that. So you can always apply for a complimentary strategy session with me. If you go to bit.ly forward slash chat with Evelyn, we can schedule a time to see if, if there's ways that I can support you if, to see if we would be a great fit working together, just to see what you have going on. And I can give you a little cup, a couple of tips and pointers to put you in the right direction. The link to that is down below. Hello. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. I hope you come back. If you are new here, welcome. 
Okay, thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you're wondering who is this girl and what does she do, I help creative women entrepreneurs and influencers with strategic self-care and business systems and strategies so they can enjoy their success without the stress. And so that's what we do up and through here. We talk about business. We talk about self-care. We talk about life. We talk about entrepreneurship. We talk about earning the dollars. We talk about people running you your invoices. Okay. And we do it with a, he a healthy amount of melanin, okay? That has nothing to do with what we're talking about today. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. If you have not subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you never miss another upload from your girl. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.